Charles, I have a wonderful honor today to be able to help you as your superintendent of schools celebrate all of the hard work and all of the things that you do that are so good, good, good. So today, though I recognize a few folks in the room, of course, you are really the honor guest. And your teachers, your principal, and then we have a few other special guests in here today. We have Mr. Miller Paul over here, who happens to be from the State Board of Education. Something that is 
so true. And it's just this. You know, you know that I like you, don't you? Yeah. And you know that just by listening to me just a few minutes. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you this in life. In life, if you know that who you're working with, who you're playing with, who's your friends, who's the people that you can the people know you care for them, you'll get a lot further in all your endeavors and everything you do. Rodney Michael used to tell me, kids know if you like them. You know, if you don't really like kids, you ought not be in the kid business. I, I talk about I talk about a, a teacher that I had a long, long time ago. I talk about this guy a lot because he was the best teacher that I ever had. You know what he used to say? When we walked into his class, and this is when I was in college, believe it or not, at that time I was skinny. And then I got a little chunky. But that's okay too. But when I went in to his class, he opened the grade book. And there was about 50 of us in the class. He opened that grade book and he said, huh, you see, last semester in this class, I had 32 A's, 22 B's, and one C. And I thought to myself, well, boy, this is a class I want to be in because this is going to be easy, really easy. And then he looked out over his little glasses that he had on, he had them right down over his nose. And he said, you see, in my class, in my class, if you don't make an A or B in my class, I don't feel like I'm doing my job. Now, I want to tell you this. The reason, and it's the absolute reason, the reason that you excel, the reason you do well, is first and foremost your effort. I'll give you that. But it's secondly this. It's the effort of all the people, and I want you to cheer for me just a second, like you've never cheered before. It's your teacher. It's this network of superintendents and principals. It's your parents. It's the people that care for you and love you and absolutely have got you to the level that you're on. Do you know? Do you know? Now get this. It's amazing. Do you know that you are one, the third highest, the one of three, one of three in the entire state. You know, I'm sorry. You are one of six in the entire state, in the entire state that exceeded in three of the five categories. Now, there's two other categories that y'all can even do better next year. And so there's still room to get better. But do you know how many schools there are and how many classrooms there are? It's unbelievable. You as a school have done something that is unreal. Unreal. Do you know, I mean, you just say about winning a championship. Winning a championship is tough to do. Really tough to do. And it's something that you may never achieve again in your life. But you've done it right now. You've done it. You've done something that's so special. You should be so proud it's unbelievable. At the end of the day, you know it takes a lot of people to make something good really happen. In my job, think about my job for a minute. Let me tell you something that's kind of funny. Okay? On the first day of my job, everybody may think, well, what's it like being the governor? What's it like? On the first day of my job, I came out of a gymnasium in Princeton, West Virginia, where I coached a basketball game. And the state police were there, and there was probably five or six of them standing there, 
and one of them said, Governor, I'll be right in your taillights. I'll be right behind you the whole way to your driveway. And so I said, well, boy, this is a different experience. So we started down the road, and we got to the toll booth on the turnpike. And all of a sudden, that state trooper went right around us and right through the toll booth. Well, I went right through the toll booth, too. And what we did, I didn't have an easy pass or anything like that. I went right through the toll booth. From time to time, there's you, you as kids, you have bad things happen in your life, and you're sad. And you've got to work through those. But most of the days, you determine how you're going to feel. Now pay real close attention to me, because I'm telling you really good stuff here. Really, really good stuff. I don't want to hear a sound except what I'm telling you. There are people that vote around all the time. There are people that just vote around and like sticks in the mud and everything's wrong and everything's bad all the time. Do you like being with those kind of people? No! As you get older, it will be no and no and no and no. The people that are absolutely going somewhere, God gave you the ability to smile and to laugh. And things can be tough, and you got to figure out how to get through them. But you need to have a positive attitude in your life no matter what you do. It'll take you so, so far. Don't you love to be with somebody that's upbeat and smiling and laughing and having a good time? You love to be with them, don't you? Yeah! That's how you need to be. And just remember this. Nobody in the world could be more proud. Think about these categories. Think about this. English language arts performance. The balanced scoreboard accountability system is what you excel in. One of the categories, English language art performance, English language art progress, math performance, math progress, and attendance. Those are the five things. You have knocked it out of the park on an awful lot of these. But you can even do better. And remember what I said a minute ago, that there's going to be a point in time that I want you to thank I want you to thank everyone, God above to, but every single one that has made an impact in helping you. Because, because this, you don't want to ever not remember. Never. Because they love you, just like I do. Now here's the other thing. Do you think for a second that I didn't notice when I came in all these signs that you've made? All these posters. Now, if I would have said anything about those, I would have just taken those for granted. But I appreciate it because it took work, it took effort, and it took love. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're beautiful. And I'll keep every one of them if y'all let me take it. Well, I appreciate your work and your love. Now, I've got one or two more things I want to do. First of all, 
What about this character that's sitting right here that's got a suit on and bow tie and everything else? Come up here. Come up here. Come to me. This outfit you got on. Why'd you dress up like this today? Yeah. Oh, you. Can you sit up here with me? Okay, get on.
absolutely great. Great in every way. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome.